Sharon. Tonight, with strong storms and flash floods still in the forecast in the Midwest, we're looking into how safe storm shelters are. In Oklahoma City, a 43-year-old woman drowned in an underground storm shelter this week. Police say she went in the shelter to avoid severe weather, but floodwaters rushed into that shelter. ABC 17's Lindsay Burning joins us now live after talking with emergency responders and storm shelter experts. Lindsay, they say it's important to know storm shelters are not watertight. Dana, that's right. Now, the storm shelter behind me is above ground. Normally, they're underground, but this is one's just a model. But on top of it, you can see those two vents that let air in and out of the unit. And officials tell me if water levels get above those vents, water can rush in. Matthew Rotho with Precision Precast, a company in Columbia that makes storm shelters, says the shelters are not made to keep you safe in a flood. Storm shelters aren't 100% waterproof. They're more designed for uh, shielding you from debris. Take a look at these pictures residents in Oklahoma City took of their storm shelters popping out of the ground because of the floods. Rotho says that can happen if the shelters are not anchored into the ground and the water table levels rise. What we do is we run a, it's like a screw type anchor down into the ground and we do this during installation and then we'll run cables up to the base section of the storm shelter and we'll anchor it to those. So uh, it actually locks it down into the ground even farther. So if you're caught in a situation where there is the possibility of severe weather and flash flooding, what do you do? Well, we encourage everyone to have a plan, to pre-plan where they would go in the case of bad weather. Um, generally speaking, you want to go to someplace low, like a basement, avoid windows, and be familiar with the area that you're going to. Is it prone to flooding? Uh, is it structurally sound? Is it away from windows? Is it easily accessible? So just pre-planning is really key. Brad Frazier says it's important to evaluate all aspects of your planned shelter. For example, if your basement is prone to flooding, he says you should have another place you can go. Yeah, if you're in a, in a shelter, an underground area, and, and there is heavy flooding, that can be very dangerous. Now, Rotho tells me if there's fl a flood and it gets above that storm shelter, water can also rush in through the top door because they're not airtight. Reporting live in Columbia, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Coming up on ABC 17 News at 5. Where the